The sound becoming ever more present for so many families caught in the crosshairs of war. Families like the Schindlers, praying that their beloved Amichai survives. The 33-year-old was at home with his wife and six kids when militants attacked the area around his house. As he tried to fight back, he sustained heavy injuries and is now in critical condition. He lives in a kibbutz called Kerem Shalom in southern Israel, right next to the border with Gaza. The location mere steps away from where Hamas militants bulldozed through the border, tearing down a section of the fence. An image that has come to define this historic moment in the decades-long conflict. They threw a grenade on the door in front of him. He flew on his back. I thought he died, so I didn't even cry for help, his wife told me. His face badly beaten, one arm amputated, the other left with only two fingers on his hand. He's being treated here in Sheba Medical Center, the largest in Israel. It's been taking in victims with the most severe injuries. So far, the hospital says over 150 of the nearly 3,000 wounded have arrived here since the fighting began on Saturday morning. Joel Haraven, a director at the hospital, says the types of injuries he's seen are mostly gunshot or shrapnel wounds and blast injuries. There are currently 42 patients, like Amichai, in critical condition. And the situation, he says, could get much worse. We are looking at the potential for a ground incursion. Should that happen, what sort of numbers can you expect here and what sort of injuries? Unforeseen, but uh, it probably will be triple or quadruple numbers. It can get worse, but we are ready. And this is what we are training ourselves uh, for many, many years. Sadly, this is not the first conflict. How are things different? It's the combination of civilians and military. So usually in the last conflict, most of the casualties were army soldiers. And for Amichai's family, this isn't the first time they're going through this pain. Over a decade ago, they lost Amichai's 24-year-old brother after he was shot by militants during a flare-up of tensions between Palestinians and Israelis. He had his whole life ahead of him, his mother says. Such wickedness, such cruelty. It takes me back 13 years coping with this massacre, this monstrosity. It's so difficult. But despite the horror, they remain positive. They have no other choice. We believe Amichai will get out of this alive and everyone else who was injured will too. We want peace. This is all we want, his wife says. A desperate plea for hope echoed by so many other innocent families on both sides of this conflict.